everybody thanks for checking out my video it's a 2008 Lexus I think it's a ES 350 or something like that um, fair shape I'm gonna do interior and exterior As you can see it's got some damage on it here and there I'm not gonna fix that obviously but thinking of doing a paint enhancement I'm gonna clay it an iron remover wash of course and um, either gonna use polish Zymo polish he's not paying for a paint enhancement but um, thinking about doing it anyways it doesn't take any longer to do and I've got the product that has to be used up eventually so thinking about it I'll know tomorrow I'm doing the interior today exterior tomorrow but um, I don't know if you can hear paints rough I did a paint thickness gauge on it most of it's four milliliter but I noticed in the back on the passenger side it's six milliliter and back right there it's like 25 milliliters so that's telling me it's been repaired so interior I got the mats out you can tell it's gonna need the extractor the leather seats aren't too bad dash isn't too bad just a good cleanup here's the mat Your seats are nice, but obviously they haven't been used that much. Carpets there need extracting. And you can tell how much cleaner the back is than the front. Let's start with the back. Feel like I got something done. I don't know. Huh. going to use and I'm going to use up my shinies interior cleaner and I have P and S interior cleaner I'm going to use along with um, P and S carpet bomber for the carpets this seat's got some staining on it Don't know how much how good the interior cleaner work on that. Hopefully it's got to improve it. I did some uh, gloss readings. They went from a low. The, the hood was about 75. The back was one spot was 65. I bet you that's where it was repaired. And the rest of it averaged right around 75. I'm gonna go over the headlights too. See what I can do with them. Got some tar. I'm gonna remove. So it's gonna be. A, I'm making it a two-day job. I didn't get here till about two in the afternoon. 1:30, whenever it was. Let's see what we can do. When I do the. Uh, before I do whatever I choose, polishing or paint enhancement, I'll bring the gloss meter out. Of course, that'll be after it's washed also, which is going to add a little bit of gloss, I hope. So, that's it for this one. And um, the next video will be out to probably t tomorrow or the next day on this. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Here's the result of the interior work that I did. Did a lot, took a lot more time than what I was planning. Let me tell you. Let me get over to the to the back where I started first. I haven't done the exterior yet. 
got a lot more time in the interior than I was planning but I'm very happy with the result for the seats in the back they weren't too bad but needed uh, conditioner and stuff but they're very really soft now and really clean I used Wyman's leather cleaner and conditioner it's you get in the houseware department at uh, most stores I got mine at Walmart I wanted to use it up which I did but now after seeing the result that it did on this I think I might go buy more of it uh, the carpets I used P and S carpet bomber and that stuff is the bomb I, I couldn't believe it I didn't think there was any way there was a stain right there in the center that uh, it probably shows in my uh, before video I didn't think it was gonna come out for nothing I only used a brush I didn't use an extractor just a little water in a, in a brush well outstanding I used uh, Chinese detail interior cleaner which is another awesome product unfortunately Chinese is going out of business probably due to the pandemic um, and I top the plastic part anyways right down here I top with um, Adams polishes interior detailer more leather that's leather too it just looks freaking amazing <clears throat> same with the doors I used uh, a little leather part here I used Wyman's on the back and Chinese interior cleaner along with Adams polishes interior detailer and the door jams I used um, Carpro Echo H2O to clean them did an outstanding job so off to the front the front seats are really dirty really bad still aren't perfect but I used the um, Surf City Garage uh, leather cleaner and conditioner did a great job. I'm more than happy with the result. And these are definitely worn. And they had cracks. A little crack there. Carpet, same as in the back. Um, p and S carpet bomber. And I actually, like I didn't use my drill. I just used the brush by hand and just came out outstanding. The center console, the Chinese uh, interior cleaner topped off with Adams polishes interior detailer there's more leather that was actually filthy when it started out you see the war spot on the other end that was done with the surf city garage woodwork was the wood in the console that was done with the Chinese detail interior cleaner along with the Adams polishes interior detailer so, Get around to the other side. Cleaned up, fixed up the headlights. I don't know if I showed them in the before video or not. Same products for doing this. With my hair is there. The Surf City, actually the Chinese interior cleaner and Adams Polishes interior detailer. You can see the dirt right there. The door jams with the charcoal echo. Very, very, very happy with the results. I thought it today when I came back, this is just the day after I did did this part. I thought once the carpets dried they were gonna look dirty again, but um, 
I, when I opened the door and look at the look at how it looked, I just says, "Wow." So that's it for this one. Now I got to start working on the exterior. The tower remover is first. So to be continued.